Yes, mate. Right. New Holland, T7, 210. Yeah. Right. This is where it's at. Is it? Yep. Good sized tractor. Um, well, no old horses. It's, it might be a good sized tractor for some farms. It is. But for others, it's a honking great thing. It's too big. Wait there a minute. Wait there. It's shrunk. Little T4. Mm hmm. 9.5. Yeah. 9.5 horsepower. Yeah. This is a, a good sized tractor for a lot of farms now. It's a compact tractor, it's George. It's not a compact tractor. It's a, it's a full size tractor. It's 95 horsepower. Four wheel drive. Actually, when you think of that, 95 horsepower back in the day. It was a big tractor. It was. Yeah. It was the 95 horsepower you're talking really. 956. Yeah. A big tractor. Exactly. Obviously not. Uh, well, no. <laughs> 1594s. Yeah. Obviously not. 3050 John Deere. Obviously. No. You'd think in the day, oh yeah, got, you got a big tractor. Yeah. No, it's 95 horsepower. It's a decent. Still do a four for a plow. Yeah. Pull a sort of 10, 12 ton, ton trailer. Yes. Exactly. It's. it's it's not, you know, a lot of people's perception is, oh, it's a little common dress, no good to me. What do I want something that small? The for? modern yeah. perception is that. So I'm just saying the modern perception is. 200 horsepower. 95 yeah. horsepower. But as I said, back in the day, the tractor everyone wanted in the day, where they all want now 180 to 210, was 110 horsepower. Yeah. Got myself six cylinder, 110 horsepower. You were the kiddie. Yeah, because you were. You, you could do everything with that. That's a yeah. big tractor, you know. You could do everything with this. You can. You know. Yeah. I said, I said a nice, that's a nice compact. It's very compact, very frame. manoeuvrable. Very manoeuvrable, yeah. isn't it? Loader. Yep. And then you're seeing a, a real big resurgence now of tractors, tractors with loaders. Loader. They've come back. People realise they need that extra loader these days, don't they? Yeah, well, got, we've got yeah. a telly hand at the yard. Yeah. But then I had to keep running it back the field to load up and then back or every two of them. Yeah. You load yourself come back or yeah. unload yourself at the other end. A lot better to travel down the road in a tractor. It's safer. Load, exactly, yeah, it's safer yeah. when you tow them and everything like that. Exactly, all that. Yeah. All that. That is a nice little tractor, George. Yeah. And as I said, I keep saying that little in comparison to why we view everything yeah, today. today. But when you, as it's I said, a nice tractor. it's a nice tractor. Yeah. And for a lot of farms, a lot of farms, you know, you wouldn't be amiss with something like this on no. there at all. It's, as you said, it's so capable. It's a three or four hundred acre farm. Brilliant. Be a very or even on a bigger unit. Yeah. You said it's still capable of taking the stuff out and doing a day's work. Of course it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. As we said, that sort of size, around 100 horsepower, was and still is, you know, the, the mainstay tractor of a lot of farms in this country. Yeah. Especially with the loader on, makes it just so versatile. Yeah. It? Very useful little machine. Roy, what we got, George? Well, we've got a. Uh, a simple, basic little tractor cab, basically. Okay. Yeah, do you want to sit down? Oh, a nice little passenger seat as well. Yeah. Right. We've got uh, four synchronised changes. Okay. We've got a single power shift up and down on it. So we've got a splitter, yeah. And we've got three ranges to deal with okay. down there. Yep. Um, we've then got two spools here. There's an option for a third. It's just blanked off on this. Yep. Yeah. PTO. We've got a 1,000 and we've got a 540 selectar for that. Selectar. Four drive and diff lock yeah. uh, there, as you might expect. Air con you do get air conditioning with it. Yep. On the new tractor. Nice. Um, loader control. This one's come with a quickie uh, factory fitted loader. Yep. And the factory fitted joystick does everything you need it to. Yep. Uh, 40k. Right. Tractor. Um, unsuspended front axle. Okay. But it's, you know, it is, you know, yeah. it is designed, you know, for ideal for what we want. Uh, you've got a power shuttle there, the neutral 
button on it. Yep. That's about it really, you've got a cup holder, um, a bit of storage there. You're quite like that, I think. Yeah, I do, but that's it's in the style, but that's just style. that's a uh, just a bit bigger, a bit more. Uh, just didn't. Yeah. yeah. It, not, not, you know what no, I'm is, on about. But it is good. It's in that style, yeah. isn't it? You no, know no it's, again, it's simple, George. Yeah. Up and down on the side. Yeah. That, as I said, I just think it's it's a sort of proven. It works. You know, People yeah, like it, and it, it's, it does. Yeah. It, it does does what it says what on it's the tin. Does. Exactly. What's the view like over the back, George? Again, it's pretty good. A little opening rear window. And you've got um, a see-through, you know, a glass down, which is quite unusual, I think, on modern tracks. You don't tend to get that glass down there so you can see. No, because that's normally the... Without having to hang your head You've out. got a small view, sort of view window at the back now. It's more like, just like an aperture rather than a, yeah. a glass panel, a lot of them now, isn't there? Yeah. But, you know, it's a good little view out the back. You've got a mirror. So you can see your hook easier. So, again, you know, uh, at the moment it's got a straw chopper on. But as we said, it's big enough that you could put a four furrow plow, you yeah. could put a grain tech trailer. grain trailer. Bow trailer, yeah. Exactly. All that sort of stuff. It's got a quick release loader on it. You know, loaders these days are you know, they're not like eight pins to get out. It's, no, that's it's right. one big lever and and the hydraulics do in one section, you know, yep. in one big lever that yep. undoes them. So that's a ten minute job, so you can get the loader off. Um, put some weight on the front if you want and you know, it just makes it a very versatile bit of kit. What's it like out in a boat? Well, let's go find out, shall we? Take it for a spin. Do that. Oh, what do you think then, mate? Lovely, innit? So, four cylinder turbo. Yeah. And you've got a sort of conventional box with a splitter, like you yeah. said. There you go. Just yeah. Jabbing top yeah. split, top gear. Well, that's equivalent, really, to the old dual power, isn't that's it? That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. It rides well. It is a nice little trailer. I say, it's everything, nothing suspended it. No, you, you think know. no cab, no axle suspension, yeah. but it's very nice. Yeah, it's riding a lot of yeah. line. Yeah. You've got enough room there in the little. Yeah, train if you say, seat, if you yeah. just get train and sit. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but it's there, isn't it? <laughs> and if you want to just get a lift home or back from the field, ideal, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a lovely smooth little box to run. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. A, uh, not notchy. Even they, they, some of them sound a bit notchy. Yeah. That's Just nice, isn't it? Yep. Got good visibility. Nice little mirrors on it. Yes. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Um, I say steering is nice and like. That is similar yeah. to the little, the little TS range. If you know what I mean. That seems in that nice short little bonnet. Yeah. You know, but a capable tractor. Yeah, exactly. They're, you know, it is it's manoeuvrable, yeah. but it, like you say, it can still go and do a bit of ploughing or whatever, yeah. like, you know, it can do any task on the farm. And really, plus, can. it can get into a lot of places that the T7 wouldn't. Exactly. You know, so if you have got it, you know, really, you couldn't stick a load, you could, you know what I mean? It yeah. wouldn't be, that for, for a round of stockyard, sticking a load on a T7 would totally just be overkill, practical. really. Exactly. I mean, there are applications where you would, but an average stock farm, this is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, and it isn't a huge cab. That's nice enough room yeah. for the operator. There's plenty of room, plenty room in it, but, but it's, it's not overly tall, no, is it? Doesn't need to be, does it? What's your spec on 34 inch rear rims? Yes, yeah. yeah. All joking aside, look, well, we have said before, there is so much uh, to be looked at now mm. within the we keep saying smaller. As I said, this used to be it's an normal. average. Well, it was Size a decent tractor. sized tractor. Yeah. You know, and I'm talking 20, 30 years ago. Um, it's only by modern standards that we everything's class it gone as small, up. Isn't it, like, you know, and you know. it's a whole thing where, you know, we used to pull four and five furrows with say 110, 120 horsepower, and now there's two 10, yeah. 220 People horsepower. People have doubled the horsepower, and pulled the same amount of furrows. Yes, yeah. just but the way it's gone. The way it? it's but, gone. Yeah. But as I said, there is so much mm. that these offer now, yeah. um, and they've moved up. As we said, that you know the technology that's come with them, mm. and for a lot of places they can't go to like looking at the T7. No. Just too big. Yeah. It's just too ungainly. You know, um, and there's no there's no need for it. It's just exactly. an overkill. Absolutely. If you overkill. want to get a four or five furrow plow, I think oh, I need 170 horsepower to pull that. You don't, do you? No. No. Four furrow plow. This will cope with it quite happily. It will do. You know. Um, and you know, I know on some heavy ground. And People say, "Oh, I never yeah. play," but <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, but it's, you've again, got to be sensible about it. Isn't those it? were the guys then in those days where, let's just say, a seven six or even a seven eight ten. Yeah, yeah. Four furrows and oh yeah, you know, well, 
our ground won't take that. Well, yeah, they had TWs. Yeah, exactly. you know. So there's always that case. Yeah. But the point is, what a nice little unit, mm. 95 horsepower, uh, a decent transmission, and it is a decent, straightforward. Tra a lot of people don't want Vario yeah, and yeah. CVTs and whatever. Full power shift in that. There's a nice transmission with a splitter. Yeah. Manual spools. What more do you want? Nice place to sit. Happy days, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. That's all you need. Yeah. That's all you need. Uh, really good little tractor. And as I said, it just, just does demonstrate, in, you know, you can get a lot of tractor in a nice package. Yeah. Yeah, definitely.